Hey guys, Kev here. And I have a very cool couple of pieces to show you from 3DC Printing. As you guys know, they are my uh, top choice for 3D printed fidgets. Um, I've tried a bunch at this point and I just keep coming back to them as being the top dog because of their innovation. They tend to lead the pack when it comes to trying different things and being unique. They don't copy anybody or do anything super similar. Um, you know, obviously a slider is a slider is a slider, but check out their whole product lineup. Very cool. Uh, you can use my code lefty 20 when you uh, order your products. I'll link down below. And uh, they updated that, so it's actually going to give you 25% off. Now, um, because the code is in all my videos, they just left it at, at Lefty20 or Lefty EDC20. I'm not sure which one. Um, and it's going to do 25%, which is pretty cool. So uh, these are already very affordable. Like These are somewhere around $15. Bucks. Um, and these are some of the best fidgets that I've actually had. And I'm not saying 3D printed fidgets. I'm saying some of the best fidgets i've had um i actually only have when it comes to sliders like this the only one i have um that isn't tracked other than this i have this one that uh was made for me it was kind of personalized so i still have it but i don't use it it's not it's good but um definitely not my favorite uh, but from 3dc printings they have these really cool ones that go on these kind of fobs so you could hang this off something, a bag or whatever, and then you just kind of grab it off like that. And now you have a slim little fidget. And you have the same concept here. It's just a thicker piece. So this is the Apex. Um, I forget what this one's called. They have different names, Frag, stuff like that. Um, but you can go look on their website. It's linked down below. I mean, I mean you can even fidget right off of the keychain lanyard thing, which is pretty cool. You just can't go down like that. And they use this Ultim. 3D filament, which is really cool. Um, so yeah, this is like the only slider that I have. And it's probably the f my favorite one. The only other one I have is like a track slider. And then I have, you know, like a uh, Mackie CP3. But um, I have this Black Mirror one. If anybody's interested, hit me up. You can buy this off me for very cheap, maybe 50 bucks. Um, but yeah, so I have that, and then I have the keychain, which is has always been my favorite 3DC printing item because printings is because it just has this very fun feel to it, where you just go up, down, up, down, nice snaps, all that good stuff. And I've always said, you can watch my videos. I've always said I wish they would make one that was just a little bit bigger, right? um that had a few more snaps to it and maybe a little bit stronger on the magnets and um this one right here does happen to be pretty snappy they i think um got me a really nice snappy one here the last time around but they continuously improve their products i mean you can just see it go watch the first video i made and then check this one out and anyway i love that product and guess what they made the snapback so this is essentially the larger version of the keychain with stronger magnets, and it is phenomenal, guys. Um, it comes with this two-piece setup. So it comes with two in there, and you can snap these like this. You can go up and down with one, up, down, you know, you can do whatever you want. Uh, I tend to just take this guy out and just have one. And oh my God, this is my favorite fidget in a long, long time. 15 bucks. And it honestly, it feels and looks way more premium than that. I mean, you could fool me and tell me this is G10 if I was just looking at it. Obviously, you can feel it a little bit that it's 3D printed, but who cares? I mean, it's a fidget. You're just going to be doing this right um 3d printed means it's lighter right 3d printed means you can replace it easy so i think they're really on to something with the snapback here this is probably my favorite product they've ever released 
and uh, I love it. I was just sitting there all night doing this. I took these out and played with them before I made this video, just so I could, you know, give you some real feedback on it. I used to just do unboxings, but, you know, you can't get as much of a idea of how to use it and all that stuff in 10 minutes on video. Um, but, I mean, you get an amazing amount of feedback. Look at this has four positions so one two three sorry five one two three four five five positions compared to the original that had one two three four so they added a spot and then they uh beefed it up a little bit and they got rid of the lanyard um would love to hear your guys feedback in the comments would you like to see a lanyard on here i think i think i'd like to try it with a lanyard um, I love it as is, and I think it's great, um, so I'm not complaining, but it'd be kind of fun to try it with a lanyard. I think it would be more expensive that way. It takes longer to make, all that good stuff, but I'd like to try it at least. Um, but it's kind of cool. You can have it like this, where you, know, you get a little more of a dull click, or you can kind of cup it and get louder pops. I mean, that's just amazing to me. I could do this all day, guys. Um, I think this is my favorite non-coin fidget ever. Um, I don't know what else to say. That's how much I freaking love the snapback here. I mean, you can two-hand play with it. My kid was downstairs uh, playing with this because I was sitting in the on the couch playing with it, and she came over and took it from me, and she's just sitting there like on the couch. She's two, by the way, and she's just like, doing this. She's taking the piece off, putting it back on. Yes, I paid attention, made sure she didn't try to eat it. She, she's almost three. She's pretty smart. And I told her, you can't eat that ever, so you don't have to worry about that. But just want to put that out there for the people who are going to tell me about that. But she, like, loved it. And then I was playing with the Apex, which is a fantastic slider, free floater. Um, honestly, people are going to hate me for this. But to me, this is just as good as any titanium one I've had. Um, you know, wrapped, whatever, right? I know I'm going to catch flack, but it just feels really good. And I know that it's like 13 bucks, you know? Um, that's crazy to me because the thing with the wrapped is, and even Compaform, right? The amount of money you spend on those, sorry, I'm like trying to talk and fidget. Um, the amount of money you spend on those makes it, I've come full circle, I feel like. It makes it feel kind of like you have too much invested in them. And I know some people are not like me. They don't have a few knives. Like, I don't have a huge collection anymore, but I do have, like, 30 knives, something like that. Um, and, you know, I have some expensive ones, but nothing crazy, really, honestly. The most expensive one I have is maybe... 600 something like that um but anyway the wrapped was like 450 dollars when i bought it the uh v3 from compaform was 300 and you know when you're sitting there fidgeting with it and you know maybe you just bought a bunch of stuff i kind of would be like well shit like i could just sell this and that's 300 bucks right there like it's just a fidget and yes, I still have like 15 of these NJT coins and they're, you know, they're not that much though. They're like 150 bucks tops. Like the most I've ever spent on one, I think is like 180 uh, for like a really special kind of one or whatever. But usually they're like 120 to 140 for the coins, right? And I have some weird obsession with them, right? Like I have a whole bunch of them. But 
I don't get that feeling with them, right? Occasionally, I'm like, man, I could sell all these and get a, a good stack. But, like, you know, it's not a big deal. But with sliders and stuff, I'm just like, man, that's 450 right there. This, 15 bucks, And it feels damn near as good. Now, of course, it doesn't have those little nuanced details and everything. It doesn't have the weight. Some people like the weight. I don't. Uh, I actually like the snap the most. And this has just as much snap as anything and i don't know i just really love it so i'm sitting here comparing it to 400 dollars fidgets so you guys can crucify me down below but um very very cool it's very ergonomic it's got uh really good uh textures in the right areas it's got kind of a cool um you know, Aztec thing going on. I guess you could say it looks kind of like the Magnus Crab a little bit, but I can see some major differences. You have the big circle in the middle. Um, yeah, very, very cool. And I love, love the Ultim on these. There's just something about it. And the Snapback, guys, literally the best fidget that isn't an NJT coin. And even then... I'm tempted to to say that it has unseated the NJT coin because it's just, it's very versatile, sort of. Like, you can do so many things, right? Fast, slow, intermediate, right? You can go up, down. You can just go down a little bit, up, down. You can put two pieces in. You know, you can go crazy with differences. You can push down a little bit and just get a smooth feel. No snaps, but if you're in the office or something, you could still fidget and feel a little bit of feedback. Very nice. You know, with the coin, you get single click, rapid, or reverse. That's pretty much it. So, I mean, it's similar, but I don't know. I just love this thing. So... Um, I do have two other ones. He sent me uh, two of each. This one's in all black. And feels just as good. And then I have... This is the Apex. Which I'm going to give these away. So... Try to get this. I don't know why there's like a staple in here. And then I have an all black. I'm just going to leave it. Actually, no, I'm not. Because the staple is going to get me. I want to make sure it works. Here's an all black snapback. Oh, this one feels real snappy. wonder if it just wears in. Oh, man, that feels good. Is it the piece or the bottom? Let's see. Ah, oh, man, these don't go together. <laughs> it sucks. You can tell which ones go to which one. That's funny. There you go. Anyway, I really like this green, so I'm going to stick with it. But damn, that black. Oh, my God, that's super snappy. I might have to switch it up. Let me just see. Eh, it's very similar. Man, you hear that? Yeah, they're the same. I'm just going crazy over here. Let's see if I can. There we go. All right. So I'm going to put this one in here. These two will be given away. I'm going to go up in my giveaway bin, and they will be given away. So watch my live streams on Thursday nights and every other Saturday. But a uh, big shout out to 3DC Printings. Jim over there is an absolute legend. Love you, Jim. And uh, I will link them down below. You can pick these products up along with their other stuff. Um, I highly recommend them if you're going to get into fidgets or you are into fidgets and just want to try some stuff um, or you're thinking about it and you just are like, man, I don't want to spend $300 on this or that, right? 
try some 3D printed stuff and see what you like first if you want. But honestly, this is where I started and I'm coming full circle, guys. This is, I think, the this is the sweet spot for me when it comes to at least these kinds of fidgets. Like the coins, I know I love these, so I'm happy to spend some money and, and go for it. But all those Chinese brands and all that stuff when it comes to fidgets, it's all it's so hit or miss that if you're spending your money, like, yeah, I get some of the stuff in uh, for review, which is fantastic. Um, but honestly, that's kind of dried up a bit here lately. Um, that stuff is so hit or miss. It's not funny. You could spend a thousand dollars and then, you know, one of the 10 things you bought is worth what you spent. It's just such a, mm, I don't know, it's a crapshoot is what it is. So these are solid and they're super cheap. So I just recommend them. Anyway, I'll shut up. Link is down below, discount code down below. I really like their stuff and these are home runs. These are like, man, they've been doing good stuff. Can easily recommend them. But then this is like a grand slam, so snapback um apex check them out 3dc printings love you guys hope you have a fantastic day and i will catch you later